Hi, I'm Keith and I'm going to show you how to change the final drive oil in a John Deere 35G. As you can see, it started raining out. I put a rain jacket on. When it's raining out and if you're working on your machine outside, you want to make sure that you don't get contaminants in your oil, as in water, and any of your gearboxes, that sort of thing. The final drive is here. Now I've previously uh, lined up the plugs, but as you turn the tracks, these three plugs here, they'll continue to turn. So you want to line them up in a straight up and down formation. The top one is to fill, the middle one is your level check, and the bottom one is your drain. You want to have a drain pan so you can catch the oil coming out. These, this particular machine, they're uh, Allen key plugs. Sometimes there's paint buildup or a bit of dirt in there. You want to clean the dirt out. Uh, you have to top it in with a hammer sometimes with paint or too much dirt in there. Now I use a ratchet to crack them loose. I always take the top one out first. As you can see, it's raining out. I had to put some rain gear on. When it's raining out and you're dealing with anything, uh, open gear cases, engines, oil pails, you want to make sure that you don't get water contamination in your oil or in any of your gear cases. I always undo the top plug first, just in case there's a bit of pressure in there. It'll let the pressure out. Then I undo the middle one, just to see if oil comes out. I wanna make sure that there's oil in there that I'm changing. If there's no oil coming out of there, it'll let me know if it's level, it'll let me know if it's low, or it'll let me know if it's too high. In this case, I do have some oil coming out here which tells me that we're nicely level. There isn't too much or not enough oil in there. If there's not enough, that means it's leaked out and we have to address the leak and that causes for a mechanic to come in and repair it. Now I let the oil drain out. Once the oil is done draining, you can put the lower plug back in. Now that it's done draining, as you can see, the fill plug, the fill hole here, is directly above the check level. The check level is right in the middle. If I were to put oil in here, sometimes it starts to come out here prematurely, gives me a false reading. So I usually like to fire the machine up, and if you travel it forward just a little bit, it'll bring this plug around and it won't be directly above. As you can see, the plug has moved over a little bit, so as we put oil in, it comes straight down and it won't come out the level hole. Now you can either use one liter 80-90 containers that have a little squirt bottle that you can squeeze it in. In this case, I do this all the time. I have a pump and I buy my oil in bulk. I like to put my drain pan back underneath so as it fills up and oil starts to come out of your level check, it has a drain pan to go into instead of on the ground.
as you can see the oil is starting to come out I know that my level is good and I have enough oil in there you can wipe off the check plug and reinstall it now you can put the fill plug back in And that's how you change the final drive oil on a John Deere 35G.